Ladies and gentlemen, respected chair and esteemed panelists, I would like to thank you for inviting me today to speak about the human rights situation in Bahrain. The deteriorating human rights situation in Bahrain may be the result of the absence of international accountability for countries that do not uphold their international commitment to human rights. It's time for treaties to truly turn into an obligation held upon states that ratify those treaties. The absence of international accountability for systematic and gross human rights violations by governments like the government of Bahrain surely paves the way for a culture of impunity within the country. Bahrain has widespread impunity for human rights violations, extra judicial killings, torture, sexual assaults, and other gross violations are committed in the daylight in Bahrain. The failure to investigate and hold those responsible for those violations, those who kill and torture and commit human rights violations has actually signaled a very dangerous message that there are no consequences for committing human rights violations. This message is not only messaged to the individuals who subject citizens to torture and excessive use of force, it is messaged as well to the government of Bahrain in the absence of international mechanisms to hold it accountable for its human rights violations. Impunity creates an environment conducive to repetition of violations and a complete failure in the protection of human rights defenders those who were torturing a brave human rights defender in Bahrain, Ibtisam al sayyid kept on repeating to her, no one hears you, no one can protect you. Impunity does not pave the way for targeting human rights defenders alone. This is what the society should realize. Impunity fuels fear within civil society, undermining the, as the aspirations for human rights and the rule of law. Unless justice is served and those responsible for human rights violations are held accountable, people of all walks of life, especially human rights defenders, politicians, and activists in general cannot and will not be protected. Widespread impunity is not only dangerous because it allows human rights violators to walk free, but because it results in self-censorship, and that's what's happening in Bahrain, and threatens freedom of expression allowing governmental officials to escape the legal consequences of their actions endangers civil society directly and threatens to further destabilize Bahrain. Unless the government of Bahrain holds human rights abusers, including senior officers, accountable for their actions, Bahrain will only move further away from becoming a stable and inclusive society. It's also necessary to call upon Bahrain to end all forms of reprisals it is currently practicing against human rights defenders and activists. They are being targeted for the peaceful exercise of their freedom of expression. The harassment, 
the torture and arrests of human rights defenders and political activists must stop immediately. Human rights defenders from Bahrain today are either in jail or under a travel ban or living in exile. The answer we get from authorities in Bahrain is no one can protect you and no one hears you. And that's why human rights organizations, the Human Rights Council, OHCHR, governments, NGOs, human rights defenders are expected to reply and demand the government of Bahrain to provide the necessary protection for human rights defenders. Unfortunately, that's not the case until today, and things are heading towards the worse. And that's why I would like to call upon my international friends, human rights defenders, to cry out to the international community to exert effective pressure on the government of Bahrain to stop targeting human rights defenders. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you.